I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and welcome to the drive home to Hawkesbury where I believe every home has a story and I love sharing those stories on real estate in the Hawkesbury with you. Here we share the best ways to add value to your property, how to avoid the common mistakes people make when buying and selling property and how to get the maximum return on your investment with a focus on supporting local business. I live love Hawkesbury and can't wait to get into today's episode with you so let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time you're watching this broadcast. I'm Rachel Goldsworthy, and I'm on the drive home to Hawkesbury. And today I'm super excited because I'm joined by Melissa Follington. How are you, Melissa? I'm good, Rachel. How are you? Yeah, really good. I'm um, super excited because we've got um, we've had you on the show before, and you gave us so much information about holistic living and being a little bit more spiritual and grounded, and and to that aim with the segue through to the holistic wellness uh, and spiritual expo that you've got coming up this weekend. Tell me about that. Oh, it's so exciting! It's going to be amazing. Um, I've can team together with one of my good friends who is the events manager at North Richmond Panthers and um, put together this wonderful event to really connect people with the holistic wellness lifestyle um, and to connect the industries, um, you know, the businesses in that industry as well. So it's kind of like a bit of networking, a bit of education and, you know, inspiration for people. So it's going to be fantastic. That's awesome. And I can hear your kids in the background and I think yes. that we can bring the kids on Sunday with us as well, can't we? Absolutely. It's open for everybody, men, women, children alike. Um, there'll be a little bit of something there for everyone. So it's not targeted at any one um, like group or anything like that. So there'll be something there for everyone. It's going to be amazing. No, that's terrific. So can you give people a little bit of a secret, a little, a little bit of a, a letter of what's actually going to happen? Who's going to be there? What are we going to learn? We have so many, well, we've, we've got a very wide variety of, um, of vendors coming along. So apart from myself with the essential oils, um, I'm also going to be running a women's circle table as well. So educating people a little bit more about um, connecting women um, and yeah, just honoring that ancient tradition, that sacred tradition. Um, yes. And then there is obviously going to be yourself. You've got your little yes. puppy next to me. <laughs> um, it's and... standing in this seat right next to you because I think that that's where the jam's going to be uh, tomorrow on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We're right in the stage, so hopefully we'll have some really cool musicians playing and um, there's going to be an opportunity for all the vendors to present if they feel like they'd like to do that. Um, we're going to have some great talks, educational talks um, about the industry. Um, we've got some kinesiologists, lots of crystals, massage. Um, we've got, uh, you know, shamanic kind of Native American stalls happening. So tarot reading, all that sort of spiritual stuff. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. The energy in that room, I can almost feel it already. I'm just really so up for it. Yeah, it's going to be it's great. Going to be amazing. I'm going to go in there and sage it all before we start. So it's all clear and yes, yummy yeah. energy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so important to clear that space. And even with real estate in some of the homes that we look at, you know, selling for people or, you know, tenanting and the changeover of the energy from one to another, people don't realise, and, and you would probably be able to tell people more so about this, but they don't realise that everything's energy. You know, your furniture's Absolutely. energy, your energy, your house is energy, yeah. what's in your house is energy. So if you've got yeah. good vibes going into the, the property or you've got a clean slate when you go into it, you just feel great walking around and enjoying that space. Whereas if you've got yucky, stuck, negative, you know, awful energy, it can be, a you know, not the best start. So it's always good, as you say, to sage the house before you get started. And um, I'm so pleased yeah. to hear that you're going to be saging the stage yes. and also the expo area so that everybody can have some awesome energy and really pick up on that yeah. on the day. So that's terrific. Yeah. And um, yeah. tell me, yeah. what what is your, I mean, your, your women's circle, we've spoken about this before, you, you do this quite often and it's such mm -hmm. a great thing. And I've heard some terrific feedback from the people that attend them tell the people listening that you know um, may not know about what a women's circle is and what's the principle behind it and what can people expect to get out of attending a women's circle okay so everyone will take something different depending on what they're looking for and what they're needing um, basically a women's circle is a very lost ancient sacred tradition where women come together and they do a, a number of things you know I mean ancient times villages were run 
by women coming together and discussing all sorts of things happening with the village. Healings would take place. It's a, it's a safe space to share yeah. and um, to celebrate milestones in life and to support each other through everything that happens in life. And so that's what we try to to put together in our women's circles today. It's just about yeah. connecting and um like it feels like home to me, you know, facilitating this and holding space for women to come and shed their layers, shed their skin yeah. and really live in their true, authentic selves. Um, yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful process where you, like I said, you shed what you don't need anymore and, and that leaves room to take on more positive yeah. aspects of life. Um, mm. And so, yeah, Everyone gets something different out of it and each mm. w circle will be themed differently depending on, you know, what the moon's doing or what I feel drawn to. So I'm, I'm putting together some at the moment working with crystals and the archangels, which is going to be yes. beautiful. Um, but, yeah, that's so, it's such a broad scope. I also do um, baby blessing ways. So that's kind of like um, rather than having a baby shower, it's kind of like honouring the mother and that whole process that our bodies go through. It's so beautiful. Yes. Um, and, you know, self-matrimony and bridal circles and, it, awesome. yeah, the list is endless. You can do so much with it and it's <laughs> such a spiritually uplifting, beautiful thing to do. Yeah, no, I think that's great. And I was watching the balloon go behind you with the kids up and <laughs> down and, and I think that that's kind of like the energy with all of us at different times throughout our life. It can go up and down, but by having a women's circle and, and coming to that yeah. women's circle, I'm sure, as you said, you can shed those layers, you can talk about things, yeah. you can get it out there and then yeah. just, you know, new slate, let's go for this, let's make things happen. And I think, you know, people underestimate what you can achieve together as opposed to, I'm going to do this myself and I'm just going to do this all alone as yeah. opposed to yeah. if somebody else yeah. that wants to go on that same journey with you. Even though they might be on a different path, they still want to achieve the different things in their life, whatever that might be. And it might just be sitting quietly with yourself of a night time for 10 minutes and being yeah. okay with that. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's what society is like these days. You know, we're so go, 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 go all the time. And mm. we are, we kind of are segregated from people in our village. Like we, you know, it, in, it used to take a village to raise a child and now we're just doing it all by ourselves. So as women, yes. we tend to take on all these labels like mother, wife, you know, boss, corporate leader or whatever, you know, whatever the labels are. And so the, by yeah. coming together in circle, we get the opportunity to shed those labels and just no. be a woman and be in that divine feminine. And it's such a beautiful experience. You know, we have the, the meditation and the creative side of it and, just mm. being and, and finding, tapping into what really, what who you are and what you want. And when you actually stop and think about those questions, they're quite profound and they're quite mm. triggering. Um, mm. But, yeah, taking that time for yourself and, you know, attending a weekly or fortnightly or monthly circle, mm. so fulfilling, so mm. fulfilling. And if somebody wanted to get involved with the, the circles that you do, what would they expect? Would it be like an hour at a time or would it be a couple of hours or does it depend on, on the, you mentioned sort of weekly or monthly or, yep. you know, quarterly, whatever. T tell us a little yep. bit about that. Okay, so generally my, my circles tend to run between 90 minutes and two hours um, depending on, you know, the theme and the content. Um, but... Every circle that you attend will be different. Obviously, everyone brings different energy. Yeah, um, all of my circles that I've run have all been completely different um, in their energy and everything. But it's, you know, it's it's very diverse. So if, if it was to, say, be a weekly thing, you know, you could probably the, – the benefit of doing it weekly is that you really get to know and connect with the, the, the group that you're doing it yeah. with. So yeah. it's not just like a – one off where you might meet some amazing people and then that's it it's kind of really it it deepens that connection and yeah. that um that process it's really quite yeah. nice and i guess too, but, yeah. you get to a level of trust too that increases as time goes by it's like any relationship you yeah. you spend that time into the emotional deposit bank and and the more time that you spend with somebody the more time you want to spend with them because you share things that you know, maybe nobody else knows or, or you've, they've earned the right to know what you don't, you Absolutely. know, necessarily share with everybody. And it would just be a safe place to do that, which is terrific. Yeah, it really is. It becomes a container for whatever, you know, you need to put into it really. Um, and, yeah, it's 
it's just it's something that you really need to experience it's such a beautiful thing and I'm so honored that I am able to to bring this to women and to share this with women you know it was something that I was I was looking for um but there was I couldn't find anything in my local area so I thought well yeah. I'm going to do this and I did my um women's circle facilitator course with Imogen Bailey and it okay. was amazing she's yeah. a fantastic um, facilitator and leader and she's an amazing woman and Honouring Heart is her um, her company there and she just does wonderful things with and for women so if anyone's interested in um, in doing that then I highly recommend it. Big shout out to Imogen if she's watching um, and also I believe Sandra's watching. Hi Sandra she says hi Mel and Rachel see you Sunday she's coming along to the expo which is Yay. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's really exciting to have Sandra on and also the other people that are here. Hi, Barbara, big hello to you. It's kind of like romper room, isn't it? And hi to you, I Susan. <laughs> <laughs> hi, five girls, and we'll see you in the circle. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but um, it's a bit of fun and it's a bit of, you know, um, I think it's just sisterhood. And as you said, males yes. aren't excluded from it as well. I mean, I'm no, sure there's, not at all. there's different places that we can all, all catch up. And certainly the expo is all inclusive. So anybody that wants to come along on Sunday, um, I'll be there on Sunday as well with Mel, hot seat right next to Mel and uh, her crew. And I'm bringing along with me Michelle Seeger. She's also an expert in bowel biology. Her and her husband live in Castle Hill and she uh, specialises in feng shui and uh, also bowel biology, which is all about the study of the home and the, the healthy home and making sure that, you know, if you have mould issues, how that affects that child or that person in the house, the, the sickness Amazing. that you find. Um, you know, people think, okay, I've moved into this house and I just can't get rid of this cold or I've got this cough or I've yeah. got this headache that I just can't move. And then when you start to analyse and you get somebody in like Michelle to have a look at the actual house, you go, oh, there's water coming through this wall or there's a pipe mm. that's leaking or there's, you know, some sort of mould in the area or you might be exposed to electromagnetic fields which is causing you those headaches. And you wouldn't even realise it if you weren't told about those sorts of things. So it's going to be fascinating having Michelle there. Um, I'll, I'll also be helping out with the feng shui and all things healthy homes and, and happy homes as well because it's all about making that environment really happy. And, you know, it doesn't have yeah. to cost a lot of money to make it your own home and make it no. feel like home, does it, you know? That's right, um, no. And I think too it's about those energies do. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. All about the energy and also, um, you know, also about, your oils even I mean I know mm. in my office I've got a de-stress oil that I use I've got you know an uplifting oil I've got a thinking oil I, you know and, and yeah. I should really talk to you about that more because I'd love to get you into consult on what oils we should be using specifically um, because you're the expert in that regard and I think it makes a big difference like when clients walk in they sort of say the first thing they say oh gosh this place smells beautiful what have yeah. you got? what's around here what, what's going on and and um, you know you're probably the best to to speak to in that regards but if somebody wanted to lift the energy of their place what sort of oil would you suggest that they would use as a you know every day and maybe a special one for once a month or you know once every couple of yeah. weeks so all of our citrus oils are really really uplifting um we have some beautiful blends in our range so you could just do the basics like wild orange or lemon or bergamot bergamot is a beautiful subtle but powerful oil um, and that also helps with you know self-esteem and everything really making you um, very um, comfortable with who you are so it's uplifting but it's really relaxing at the same time it's kind of um, it's, it's kind of like an earl grey tea that's exactly what it is you know it's like the bergamot it's like uplifting but soothing yeah. um, and yeah, and then we've got some beautiful blends, which is all of our citruses. So Elevation is one of my favourites and it's called our Joyful Blend and it's just, it's literally joy bubbles in a bottle. It's a beautiful. Um, but even like your peppermint, so your minty scents and everything, they're yeah, really yeah, uplifting, Think everything peppy. Um, and, again, we've got some beautiful blends. But Wild Orange has actually been proven to boost sales in real estate agents. So there you go. <laughs> Having Wild Orange in the, in the foyer going in I the foyer you. it's been actually been scientifically proven i can get your paperwork on it that it boosts sales so get that orange well, there, going <laughs> there must be something in that because when i went to the states 
everything was pretty much that. And they're all, the biggest yeah. sales push um, that I've ever met. You know, they, they know how to sell things. They know how to market yes. things. And, um, you know, obviously we get a spin-off from that, but that's really good advice. And maybe while I'm, why I'm always attracted to that orange scent because um, yeah. it's a really special scent. And I think it's – I love peeling an orange. I always remember as a kid, and I don't know about you, but my dad used yeah. to teach my sister and my brother, and we all used to sit, stand at the kitchen sink and we all were given an orange and a knife. And, you know, we went to create a toilet seat. I don't know whether you had the same thing, but you go to peel this orange. <laughs> and the way he explained it is just try and peel the outside of the orange off. And then we slowly got, you know, ripping bits of flesh off and everything along yeah, the way. Yeah. And, Great, and he said, "Okay, the final piece is you've got to slice the top, and then make a toilet seat. So that's our our mind. Okay, we're making a toilet seat. So make a toilet seat. Yep, perfect. Okay, perfect. Orange, we get to eat this now. Morning tea. (laughs) But the scent from that is just (gasps) sensational, and I've always loved orange or limes or any citrus because you're you're right. It's kind of like even." Um, yellow writing pads it's for the creative any yellow color that you have it's for the brain it makes you you know yeah. think creatively and get right through into things so same thing with citrus obviously with the lemons and, and yeah that. so I'm going to be fascinated yeah. with everybody that's going to be out there on Sunday I'm super excited because it starts at 11 o'clock is it 11 to yep. 4 yep. 11 and where 4, are we going yep. the Panthers, um, North Panthers. North Panthers. Panthers. yep Yes. Yeah, we still have some spots available if there's anyone out there who has anything in the holistic wellness and spiritual um, kind of industry that you'd like to showcase. Just, um, I'm just trying to think how to do this. Probably best to jump on to 710 Essentials Purity by Nature and send me a private message and I can give you all the details. We're actually awesome. really, really looking for a musician. a musician. Someone to come play the guitar. Yeah, just someone to come and um, promote themselves. You know, it's a... Um, it's not a paid gig, but it's a really good chance at getting networking out there and getting future future bookings and stuff like that. And just to bring a really nice, cool, relaxed mellow. kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah really yeah. mellow kind of folk and ballady. So if there's anyone listening out there or if you know anyone who's um, good with a guitar and got a, got a good set of pipes, then <laughs> send them my way. You're all... We'll make it happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Sarah. Maybe your kids. I'm not too sure. Any of those um, people listening online that have a musician or a budding musician that wants to get out there and and be part of the community for a very special day for the Wellness um, Expo. That would be awesome. Melissa would love to hear from you. If people wanted to get in touch with you before the expo or after the expo, Melissa, how can they find you? What's your website address? Okay, so it's probably best off instantaneous response through Facebook. <laughs> worldwide social she media is. she is um, good like minutes literally minutes <laughs> <laughs> so um if you follow 710 essentials purity by nature um anyone interested in the women's circle side of it it's called white light women's circles and you can find us on there and um give us a like and a follow and send me a private message and i'll get back to you pretty much straight away so no that's awesome yeah. and we've also got janine laird online hi janine thanks for liking the program she is a wonderful woman and such a wealth of knowledge she is actually the president of the australian chapter of the international feng shui team and i'm heading wow. down to see her and the rest of the crew in melbourne in brighton so a big shout out to all my feng shui friends they're all very special and i'm really looking forward to catching up with everybody cal and the girls and and guys down there so um Brighton Savoy, I think we're heading towards, so that should be really good. Janine's such a, done such a wonderful job in getting everybody together and all of the people that are going to be speaking. There's going to be a t- talk on, um, I think, by Tyler. He's actually talking about real estate and dragon veins, so fascinating topics. Just everybody has different views and different thoughts, and they also have such an impact on us in our lives, and um, we don't realise it until you start to study. So, uh, yeah. yeah, but... Yeah. Thanks so much for, for um, joining me today, Melissa. I really appreciate it. I'm so looking forward to Sunday at the Wellness, um, Holistic Wellness and Spiritual Expo that we are going to. It's 4, 4 p.m. It finishes, starts at 11 a.m. So, And it's at uh, Panthers North Richmond. So any questions, yeah. message Melissa Follington in her inbox there or I will put up, up some links as well so that we've got those live. Um, so thank you for everybody being on the line. Looking forward to catching up with everybody on Sunday, talking all things, you know, natural oils, women's circles, feng shui, our biology, everything that we can talk about that's going to make us feel absolutely awesome. Thank you, Melissa, thank and we'll friend. catch up with you again next time. Okay, Bye. we'll see you again. Bye. 
Thank you so much for taking time out listening to today's episode. If you have any questions on the process of buying, selling, leasing or strata management, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes and I'd really appreciate it if you could spread the word by liking and sharing this episode with your family and friends. I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and I look forward to catching up with you on the next episode of the Drive Home to Hawkesbury.